Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to VE Universe. I'm your humble host, Victor V, bringing to you another amazing content. But before we proceed, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Today's video is for educational and entertainment purpose only. Due diligence must be taken before investing in the stock market. Why? Because every investment comes with some risk, so it's better you have some financial education before investing your DD. So today we will continue with CCIV, which is Churchill Capital. It is PAC, a blank check company, merging with Lucid Moros. It's all over the news. We saw how Michael Client, you know, the CEO of Churchill Capital, initiate a merge with Lucid Moro, which is all over the news. It all started with rumors uh, of the major, which hype up the price way over $60. And then after the definitive agreement, which was February 23rd, it now dipped down to close to $20. And that was because of um, the wrong evaluation and some delivery issues when it comes to the automobile. So now we have some new catalysts coming up, some new catalysts or driving force, which, you know, it's getting investors like myself and probably you excited to know what's the future for you know, this company, it's a very, they have cars which look similar to, to Tesla. The CEO, Peter Rawlinson, um, you know, former engineer of the Tesla Model S, is bringing back this technology into a lucid model. So some of the catalysts that we saw on my previous video, we, we found out that June 30th, the ticker symbol will change from CCIV to LCID. We also found out that August 1st, first customer delivery. So the cars will be moving out from the factory in Arizona, the Casa Grande. We also found out that there was a test drive, a successful test drive already by the CEO, you know, Peter Rawlinson. And right now, I'm right in front of, you know, my Google data, looking at some uh, data analysis here. Uh, as of now, the, the share price is $29.50. After hours, it's showing us a positive gain of 1.19%. You see the market cap, $7.63 billion. We have the 52 weeks low and high, so $9.60. It went right up to $64. So those are things we have to take into consideration. My YouTube analytics shows that over 75% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel yet. So please press on the red juicy subscribe button and smash the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a new video. A month ago. Let's see if we can go back a month ago. As you can see, it went right up. Almost $57.37, and then it came down gradually, and the worst day was March 8th, when it came right down to $22.09. And then, as you can see, it started moving back up, moved right up to a high of $31.10, and that's when there was the interview with Jim Cramer. Uh, Mad Money CNBC, and now it's settling down today for twenty nine fifty. So there we, we see a positive comeback. So that's that's impressive. The comeback is quite impressive. So um, something good might be coming up. Investors, you know, and then today there was also an announcement, you know, with um, a Dolby, some sort of internal audio system partnership which, you know, it's also a, a good catalyst moving forward. And then finally, 
we have Jim Cramer of Mad Money CNBC now endorsing, you know, or recommending Lucid Moros. So you see, Lucid Moro could be, he even mentioned that Lucid Moro could be the next Tesla. Let's take a look here. So Jim Cramer says uh, Lucid Moros could be the next Tesla. So we'll wait and see. I, we haven't seen any automobile yet, so let's wait and see. You know, it looks like a good company, but hey, you have to start delivering vehicles before even saying you could look like Tesla. And then, during the interview, we also found out that the CEO said, uh, Lucid Moro CEO on Apple Cars, Romo, we welcome competition. Now, people were thinking they're just going to partnership with the internal, you know, software, you know, autonomous driving and stuff like that, but hey, it's same competition, which it gives us a signal that Apple is actually coming up with their own car. So it's going to be an Apple, an Apple electric vehicle. So today's video is a reaction. So first, we're going to look at Jim Cramer endorsing Lucid Motors. And then secondly, you have CEO Peter Rollinson interview with Jim Cramer about the future of the company. So relax, grab your popcorn, and let's go. To learn how to invest in the stock market like a pro, I mean like a real pro, enroll to my online course today, which is called Growing Well with Stocks. The link is in the description below. This. If you're a younger investor who wants something higher risk, I want you to consider Churchill Capital 4. I know that's a mouthful, but it's the SPAC that's merging with Lucid Motors. Not a mouthful, but a really cool car. That could potentially be the next Tesla. Don't worry, Elon Musk does not watch, so he won't be mad at me. This thing imploded last month because the stock got too hot in anticipation of the deal. Not their fault. When I say it's high risk, though, I mean it. However, after that decline, I'm willing to endorse Churchill Capital for as long as you're young, because young people still have time to make back those losses if it doesn't work. Even though this thing already blew up, it's one of the rare SPACs that's a good operator and not too promotional, and is not at its high or near it. And if you're older, stay tuned, because the safest way to play the electric vehicles is to know and understand which stock to buy, which is fundamental analysis, to also know when to sell the stock, which is technical analysis, plus one-on-one -on -one phone call with me, and a portfolio update, join my Patreon group. Link in the description below. For people to understand that unlike a competitor that a lot of people worried about for years and years, the money that you have right now will get you to that expansion that you're talking about. Indeed, this is an amazing outcome from a from our merger process with Churchill Capital, uh, we secured four and a half billion dollars through both the SPAC and the pipe with an unprecedented array of blue chip investors. And that really secures the future of Lucid. And, and, and I mean, this is very interesting because that competitor was only able to secure several hundred million at IPO. And it meant that it had to really look for fresh injections of capital many times. And with this capital, we secure our future well into 2023. We can implement phase two of the factory in Arizona. We can add, you know, more than two and a half thousand hourly and salaried manufacturing employees. We can bring all four trim levels of Lucid Air into production. And we can get Project Gravity well along the path to production with prototypes built and a lot of testing under our belt. And then there's the sales and service and R&D activities that we have got a very clear runway with the security of funding. We're in a very, very healthy position. You and I both know that the uh, internal combustion engine is, is a dinosaur. Uh, you also know that, you and I know that the demand for cars like Lucid are big. Let's say an Apple were to come in. Would, would Lucid have problems selling cars if the great Apple came in? Well, there's, there's always room for, for new entries, uh, and, 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 and don't let's underestimate the market, because this isn't a market for EVs. There's no such thing as an EV market. This is a market for cars, and EVs will penetrate and uh, completely uh, fill that, that market, that world market for cars. So I'd welcome the competition from a company like Apple, but ultimately, you know, this is a technology race. 
Tesla recognizes that and Lucid recognizes that. And I think that's what differentiates. So many of the traditional car companies, they buy parts off the shelf, they take a commoditized right. approach to this. Lucid doesn't, it's all in house, all in house developed, designed, engineered and manufactured. Vertically integrate your core IP. Only Tesla does that today. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send. So what do you guys think? Um, I think it looks like a great company. And it's, you know, it's good to go in now. To me, I look at it like investing in Tesla three years or four years ago. Again, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Until then, I'll see you on the next video. Have a nice day. Goodbye now.